In today's video, it is finally back. Stories from the Road. Welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. My name is Moose78, and if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please take a look around, consider subscribing, and if you do happen to subscribe, be sure to hit the bell icon to be notified when new content goes live. And for those new people or the folks that have not been around for a while, this of course is my ATS Let's Play series. I call it Stories from the Road. Just basically do some trucking, flap on my gums, talking about the game, upcoming content, just, you know, whatever. Talk about trucking in general a little bit. Well, not so much in general, but uh, a little bit of my history in the trucking industry, growing up in the industry. Just kind of, like I said, flapping my gums. But uh, today we are here in Clovis, New Mexico at Global Mills. We are picking up a load of yogurt going up to Elko, Nevada. Of course, it's not going to show it because I've not picked up the cargo yet. But that's where we're going, and uh, I'm recording this video on October 2nd, and you're saying, well, why is that important? Well, because the Oregon DLC does not go live until October 4th, so that's why I am not trucking in Oregon just yet. So let's go ahead and get fired up here. And as you see, take a quick look around the truck. I am back in the SCS Peterbilt 389. I say I'm back in it because I have been using the 579 for quite some time. Now, that probably will come back on the channel soon, but uh, I wanted to get back into this just because I've driven the 579 so much over the last few months. You guys haven't seen that because I've not posted any content, but we're fixing that today, and I'm kind of easing back into it. Got a news video up a couple weeks ago. Hope you guys saw that and enjoyed that. Um, I have always enjoyed doing those types of videos. It seems like they've always performed well on the channel. You guys have always liked them. So we will continue to do that. And of course, of course, without a shadow of a doubt, we will continue doing this little thing called Stories from the Road. But uh, let's get uh, let's get a go in here. Let's see if I can't find where my load is. Looks like it is around back. Looking at the GPS there. Love the C15 straight pipe sound mod. Sounds so good. So very, very good. truck is private by the way so no links let's come back all the way around and this is gonna sound crazy but this is the first time I have been to this particular uh, global mills in the game I've been to the other one over in what is it Roswell but uh, I have not been to the one in Clovis yet I remember back before New Mexico, New Mexico, sorry, came out. Um, this is one of the prefabs that I was pretty excited for because this is like a pretty neat place to uh, pick up and deliver to and all that stuff. So yeah, it tells you how much I've played the game over the last year. It tells you how much I have played over the last year. Where? Kids, let's let's see how bad I can jack this up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Camera two action going on here.
goes on. And I gotta say, I have absolutely just loved trailer ownership. That was a game changer indeed. Pull up just a little bit straight now. There we go. And after I get loaded, if the drop axle or the lift axle, whatever you want to call it there, isn't lowered, I'll go ahead and get that lowered. Fear not. Cargo's loaded up. Put the axle down. Check our route real quick. It's pretty be pretty basic. I mean, we're gonna be running 40 all the way across New Mexico, Arizona. Yeah, and that's pretty pretty straightforward. Still wish there was a bypass around Vegas, but that's okay. That is a-okay. I could, could take a left up in Ely, or even just go up 375. And just go a little bit out of my way through Tonopah, up 376, up 305. I don't know, we might go that way. I don't know, we'll see. Because I've been up this way, I, you guys have too, obviously like a thousand times. But uh, yeah, we're definitely not gonna get all the way up to Elko today because that is quite the haul. But uh, at, least, at least get our journey started. Check the trailer brakes rightly fast. Good there. Four ways off. And away we go. Man, it has been a while, hasn't it? I think it's been, what, about a year? Maybe a little over a year now since I've posted the last Stories from the Road video. So let's get into that. Let's talk about that today. Of course, I started my new job just over a year ago now. Not quite a year and a half ago. And I said at that time, wasn't sure where all this fit in. And I touched the touched upon this a little bit a couple months ago when I kind of made a channel update video, whatever you want to call it, talking about I was going to try to ease back into the content, and that's what we're doing today, obviously, but uh, track, R, track IR was acting up a little bit there, but uh, yeah, I posted a couple videos there, posted a gameplay video posted that update video, then everything got kind of quiet because everything just got about 10 different kinds of crazy at work. But uh, things are kind of getting back to normal now, so kind of want to get back to trying to get at least a video up every week. And a lot of that is going to be dependent on what's going on in the real world and such and so forth. But yeah, the work schedule, I'm gonna hit the curve nah, just a little bit, not bad. Still knocking the rust off, so please be patient with me there. Please be patient with me there. But no, the work schedule, the work just got crazy. I mean, I was, you know, staying late at the office, coming home, eating supper, breaking out the laptop, working for a couple more hours, just trying to keep my head above water. So the last thing I wanted to do was sit down and record the video, edit the video, anything like that. I just kind of wanted to plug from everything and just ugh, relax a little bit. 
like I said, everything's kind of getting back to normal, so. I'm gonna take another stab at this, and remarkably, over the last year, the channel continued to grow a little bit. I mean, we're over 1,400 subs now, which is awesome. Thank you guys for sticking it out, sticking around, asking how things were going, asking if I'm okay. I really appreciate that, guys. That is awesome. Oh, this is looks like a fun intersection. Let's, let's make a quick adjust my IR headset here. Could use a traffic light here, I'd say. And I need to turn the notifications off on the last wire. Note to self. I'm gonna ease up here. I'm gonna be that guy. Block traffic one way. Man, that is bugging the crap out of me. There we go. I guess it helps if I center the freaking camera, eh? Come on. Sweet Jeebus. I'm trying to make a video here, guys. Thank you. But yeah, I am ready for the Oregon DLC will be coming out here in a couple days. And that is going to be about 10 different kinds of awesome. I'm not, I think I've got, take a look real quick, I guess, or maybe, uh, nah, it's not really going to show me. But uh, I guess it will. Yeah, I think I do have, so I'm just kind of glancing at this real quick. Yeah, I think I have all of the cities discovered in New Mexico finally. Clovis was actually, I think, the last one. I was messing around with it over the weekend. And got Clovis discovered. But yeah, the one-two point. Yeah, uh, words. Words are tougher. Words are tougher most today. Words are tough. The one point three two. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to talk, trying to drive. I haven't done this for a while, and it's confusing the sweet hell out of me. Ah, now the one point three two update is live. Play the beta. Trailer ownership, of course, the highlight of that, and that was amazing. Love having trailer ownership. Love what the community is doing with trailer ownership so far. And that was, that was, you know, that was the game changer, right? And that's kind of what we've all been wanting. That's what we've all been waiting for. It's here. It's real. And now we're getting up into the Pacific Northwest with, with Oregon. And just everything I've seen, all the pictures, all the screenshots, teaser videos, all that stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. It's happening. I'm doing it. But just everything I've seen leading up to 10-4, uh, which I thought it was kind of cool. You know, I figured they would have released it like yesterday, like on a Monday or something like that. I was fully expecting that, but the fact that they were releasing the Oregon DLC on 10-4, get it, 10-4, I thought it was kind of cool. thought that was kind of cool. Interested to see if they're going to sneak a new truck into the game or not, because I don't know if you guys caught it, but the last teaser video they did was late last week. They snuck in the Volvo right at the end of the video. Slide on over there, hand. Slide on over. So I thought that was kind of cool. 
And there's been a lot of speculation, nothing official from SCS, so until that happens, I will consider it to be speculation. Let's go down one lane. Why is the tanker getting over? Of course, I sit down and record a video and the crap starts acting up. The track hour is not acting up in forever until now. I think it's just because my mic is in front of me and the XLR cable is kind of blocking the camera a little bit. But that's okay. That is okay. I actually tried using. Um, the Toby Eye Tracker for American Truck Sim, and ugh. I hope maybe they'll update it, patch it, something. The, the Eye Tracker itself works great, but with American Truck Sim, man, it is buggy as hell. I mean, just absolutely buggy as hell. You have to run a separate app with it called V-Joy and it just, man, just does not work well. So I went back to my track IR headset and it has worked, well, it like it always has worked very well, so I'll just use the track IR for the old ATS. But yeah, back to Oregon, I'm just ready for the new scenery. Had, had my fill of the desert, you know, obviously with Southern, with California, you know, Southern California, going all the way back to the 18 Wheels of Seal Holland days, and the uh, ever popular Cali maps by uh, Ivan, aka Hard Truck, is the best. You know, I think a vast majority of us played though, played that map, you know, exclusively. Some folks might have switched out for Phantom 359's map every once in a while, but for the most part, it was uh, all Cali all the time. All Cali map. But if Oregon's anything like New Mexico, man, it is going to be a freaking badass DLC. And I cannot wait to get my hands on it. You guys didn't hear it, but I was just coughing my head off. We'll drink a lot. But uh, I'm excited for all the new companies like the steel mills. That's going to be pretty cool. To, this video is going to be all over the place, guys, so I apologize. But uh, I still need to get get back in the blender, miss my turn. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. What did I do? Oh, pfft. Nah, not a huge deal. I can just, yeah, that's not, not a big dealio at all. I stay on this, then... Yeah, no problem. No problemo. But no, I need to get back into Blender and finish working on the private W900. The, uh, here is that damn thing. 93. I always want to call it like a 2000 or something. I don't know why. But it's, uh, no, it's by 5153D. I'm sure you guys know the model that I'm talking about. But I need to get in, finish that up, then work on some others. Say, gosh, it's probably been four or five months ago. 
guys probably hate me more than usual. <laughs> but uh, we went in and bought like three different models. We bought that, the uh, Freightliner FLC flat top, and the Peterbilt 359. Need to get that stuff in game, like badly. Badly, badly, badly. But uh, the reason why I was going to do the flat class first, because that one is complete. And it's got the interior and all that, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I've got, I think I've got the basic hang of blender down enough to be dangerous. I think at the very least enough to get get a model imported into the game. I say that now that I go to do it and it's going to take me like five weeks to figure out everything that I did wrong. But that's okay because Half-Ass Gaming over there has some phenomenal tutorials and if you guys have not checked out their channel and you're wanting to get in the modding, Half-Ass Gaming, they will be linked down below. Holy snappers. Then. But no, uh, they have, in my opinion, and I'm not just saying this to blow smoke up anyone's behind, but in my opinion, Jeff has the best tutorials on a blender out there as far as, you know, ATS and blender. Because, you know, that's what he does tutorials for ATS and blender. But uh, no, great, great content puts a lot of time and effort into it, so go over, check them out, give them a sub. But uh, the hard part's going to be figuring out how to do the animations, because at the very least, I want to try it. At least to say, hey, I tried and failed, whatever. But uh, I want to try that. I figured out how to do it back in the day in uh, Z Modeler 2.09 which it wasn't so much animating the stuff in Z Modeler as it was animating the stuff by doing um, hex editing. And I'm not going to miss my turn again, by gosh, by gun. Because if I do, I'm going to crash about three different cars. There we go. Don't worry, guys. I will get the hang of this again. But uh, the 387, the 5150 release, like way back, way back when. Um, I actually did uh, some animations for that. Uh, got you know some of the gauges animated. Got the steering wheel. Uh, got a steering wheel put on it and animated. So I'd at least like to take a shot at animating stuff for um, the flat glass, for the interior and all that stuff. We'll see though. We will see. And as I'm looking down at the uh, GPS, I see the spot to pull off and take a rest. Reminds me, I'm going to have to, at some point in time during this trip, turn uh, the sleep simulation or whatever the settings called. I can't remember off the top of my head. You guys know the fatigue setting. I'm going to have to toggle that back on because I usually, usually have that off. I'm going to mess around with the cable again.
don't know, what are you guys most excited about for uh, Oregon? Is it just the fact that we're getting another state to drive around in? Anything in particular, logging roads? I know a lot of folks out there, Corby, are uh, excited about uh, getting into the logging stuff. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, it, it, it feels good to get back into uh, ATS community. Get, trying to get back into modding. Trying to get more active, kind of getting my name out there a little bit more again. Like, hey guys, I'm, I'm back. Uh, hi. Stop sign. There we go. That's freaking better. Good grief. No, just pull up there and block block me. Block my view. Pick a weasel. Hate when people do that. This is one of my favorite, favorite engine mods. But no, it feels good to get back into some ATS. Like I said, get back a little bit more active in the community. SCS has done pretty well over the last year or so, you know, and growing the community and everything. Looks like they're building some uh, relationships with uh, Navistar, which can only be a good thing. Hopefully, you know, it can be a good thing. Hopefully, uh, well, obviously it's a good thing, but uh, hopefully, you know, some, some things come to fruition there. Obviously, they were at, uh, Navistar headquarters in Chicago this past summer. It's hard to believe summer's gone already. What the hell? You know, we're, we're, we are officially in fall. We're officially in October. This car is officially going to be a dick. You, you couldn't see me coming over. You couldn't see me coming over. But uh, obviously, well, obviously, I really don't know, so obviously I don't know, but uh, more than likely, I would imagine, if I had to guess, you know, we'll probably see, you know, the Pro Star Series get into the game, which, that'll be nice, that'll be nice, probably the Lone Star, I'd imagine, which, hey, I'm all for, you know, more content in the game, you know, more SES trucks, because, I know everyone likes to knock them, make fun of them. Ah, SES. Ah, ah, ah. They've come a long way, and their stuff's not really that bad. I mean, could it be improved? Eh, probably, but I mean, all in all, and if, you know, for the vanilla gamers out there, it's huge because, like I said, their stuff doesn't look that bad nowadays, especially compared to what it used to look like. Which of course, you know, back then they had to be a little bit careful because they didn't have any licensing whatsoever, and they had to be very careful not to make the truck look too much like the actual thing, or you know, it's you know, lawsuit for days. I do like, and I've noticed this a little bit, uh, how they have some of the company names on the trailers now, and AI traffic, which is cool. Shenanigans. Ah, a frickin' I. Let's go. I am running an AI mod. I can't remember which one it is offhand, but it's off the Steam Workshop. It came out during the open beta, and I've left it in because it's awesome. 
it adds just a little bit more craft to the game not a crazy amount just enough to make it seem a little bit more realistic a little bit more immersive and it doesn't feel like it changes the behavior too much to where they're just doing batshit crazy things and as i say that we're having a brake check party up here so let's friggin go Let's go. And hopefully the YouTube algorithm ugh, the YouTube algorithm can figure out what the hell my channel is because one day I look to see like recommended channels and it has me lumped in with like a travel channel. Like a legitimate legitimate travel channel. It's like, um, Then the next day, it's got me lumped in with like a bunch of The Sims channels. It's like, uh, never have I ever posted a Sims video, nor have I ever played the game, so no. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one of the challenges, getting back into it, being gone for so long, and getting back into it is, I guess, retraining the algorithm to what my channel is. So got that going for me, which is nice. But uh, moving forward, definitely, like I said, want to try to get at least one video up a week, a couple. See where it goes. This is kind of missed this a little bit over the last couple months. As I said in my uh, update video a couple months ago, you know, I, did get, I did get burnt out there for a while because I was uploading five days a week, I was streaming three days a week, and, you know, there wasn't a lot of content in the game at that time, and it was, I just, you know, like I said, literally just burnt myself out. But, uh, taken, obviously, about a year off. Uh, and it's awesome to still see people, a lot of the same people coming back, watching the videos, you know, shouting out at me on uh, social media. So keep that up, guys. I appreciate the hell out of that. That's just awesome. But, uh, you know, I want to get back into this, grow to the channel a little bit, you know. Spicy, spicy sunset over there. Spicy, spicy. But so hopefully you guys like this video. Kind of me just sitting here kind of rambling, getting back into it. And like I said, you know, a few minutes ago, I've been all over the place. But uh, just knocking the rust off, getting back into it. Not like I ever did know what I was doing, but... What the frig almighty? That is wild and crazy right there. When the hell did those get put into the game? How is that even legal? Is that is that literally legal in New Mexico? Is that legal in New Mexico? What the hell? The community I live in, it's a uh, golf cart friendly community, so I'm not too surprised by seeing something like that, but seeing something like that on the interstate, is that even legal? Let's throw on the lights. I don't know how much my FPS dropped because I don't have the FPS counter on, but I should be doing fairly okay. I just love having the secondary vehicle lights on, just having that orange glow in the cab at night. This looks kind of cool. The sunset looks amazing. We're back in a large car, Peterbilt. Oregon's coming. Can't complain. Man cannot complain. 
you know, six miles of the gallon. And that's one thing I have never, maybe it's the engine mod, I don't know. But it seems like whether I'm in the 389 or the W9, whichever two of those trucks I'm in, I always get better fuel mileage than when I'm in like the 579 or the 680. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, maybe it's the engine mods. Could be. using a, what is it, a, like, some kind of daytime, nighttime cycle mod or whatever. I cannot honestly remember what it is. It's off the steam works. Pretty much everything I use, by the way, guys, you know, if it's not private like the truck, it's private. You know, it's out on the steam workshop. I stopped using, like, uh, ATSmods.lt and stuff like that, although I... I did download the Mac Anthem off of one of those sites here a couple of weeks ago. Thought about doing a video with the Mac Anthem. Think about getting over here and passing on these cars before I destroy everything. And New Mexico is far and away, far, far, far and away the best state they have done so far. And I am getting screwed like a pooch over here. I mean, interstate systems look great. And you look at how far, and I'll talk about this more in future videos, but you look at how far this game has come in over two years, almost three years now. It's crazy to think this game has been out for, what, two and a half years now. And look how far it's come since it released in February of 2016. It's pretty amazing. And everything feels, and that's the biggest thing, that has been my biggest takeaway from the New Mexico DLC is how unique it feels compared to Arizona, to Nevada, to California. And to me, California and Nevada feel, obviously they look different because it's different terrains, you know, different parts of the country, but they just kind of feel similar, right? And the highways seem fairly similar and how they're laid out. Arizona feels a little bit different from those two, but to me, New Mexico just stands out far and away in terms of, at least to me personally, you know, its, it's uniqueness. I literally thought that was a freaking steer getting ready to cross the road. Okay, really. Really, really I am. People, what the hell is this guy's problem? Man, just, man look at that nighttime sky though, man. Ah, it just feels good, man. It feels good. Let's get back in the game. The other day, it was it felt good just because I set I didn't record anything, and I sat down, played the game, turned on the radio, the in-game radio to like one was one eighty one dot one the Eagle, cranked up the radio and played for a good you know hour or so, just jamming out of some old classic rock. It felt good. And I think once Oregon drops here in a couple of days, that's going to be amazing. A little bit more content. Then we'll we'll start playing the guessing game. What state's next? What state's next? Maybe they've already announced and I've missed it because you know I've been out of the loop a fair a fair bit there. 
but uh, hopefully they continue to kind of go up north a little bit. You know, maybe not so much like up in Washington State. Maybe they go east a little bit, get some Utah action in there. Hopefully they don't do Texas yet, because I imagine Texas is going to be quite the undertaking, because Texas is just about damn near as big as the entire map now. So that that's going to be an undertaking right there. So hopefully they fill in a few more states, and then move on to Texas. across uh, New Mexico there. Actually, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. We will pick it back up. We'll pick it up right here in Gallup, probably. I'll probably stop up here. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Again, if you've not subscribed, take a look around. Consider subscribing and be sure to hit that bell icon. But until the next video, guys, stay safe out there. Man, be good to one another. Take care, and we'll be seeing you.